Hey guys, I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia with Steve West of Silver Piston. In this series, I travel the country finding innovative artists and craftsmen, and together, we make something badass. I'm Bear Walker, and this is Break the Grain. It started in 2009 when I was a freelance designer. I started making jewelry. As a hobby, I went to class, and then I liked it so much that I just kind of kept taking classes and buying tools, and that's how I got into it, and then I was just making gifts for the family, selling some stuff here and there. And then in 2013, at the end of 2013, I had an Indian head nickel. And on a whim, I just sawed the head out and I mounted it on a half inch wide band and thought, wow, this is really cool. There are a lot of people making stuff with Indian head coins, but I, had, I couldn't find one where somebody just literally sawed it out and put it on a ring. And so that's sort of how Silver Piston started. It just kind of went from there. I guess the key thing is at the end of the day, if you try, you didn't fail. If the business doesn't work out, you still tried, and that's, that's to be plotted. It's not for the faint of heart. It's just part of the stretching my legs and just mm -hmm. trying some new things and seeing how things play out. Alright, I'm back from Atlanta, back at the shop. I'm feeling inspired and ready to work on this board that, that basically encompasses Steve West and Silver Piston and, and his craft in general. One of the biggest aspects of his work is surprisingly the amount of time and craftsmanship that went into this thing. I mean, I knew they were badass, but I didn't know quite how much, how many steps there were. Uh, so I actually had Steve draw up a hand-drawn version of his coin and had that be you know, the, the focal point, the, the front and center aspect of this board, almost the calling card to, you know, really hone in. This is a collaborative piece between the two of us. Another important element I wanted in this board was uh, Steve's, you know, dedication and love for his city, which is Atlanta. So we put the Atlanta skyline in the background. I wanted to make it look a little more artistic, so we made it where the sun was setting, there's a shadow being cast on the, on the skyline. There's hand-painted stars in the background. And I think it just tied the board together all around. The last thing I wanted to make sure this board had incorporated to it was that it, it screamed Silver Piston, you know, it really embodied his brand. So we blazing the Silver Piston on the bottom of it, made sure it stuck out, was prominent with that red background, and I think that, that filled out the board nicely. The only thing left to do now is test it out. Until next time, this is Break the Grain.